25 past three on April the 22nd, and Robin Knox Johnson and Sue Haley have sailed non-stop around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, today is the day. I would like to discuss the upcoming used sailboat market for the summer season, as well as some tactics and different approaches you should be using this summer if you're in the market for buying yourself a new to you used fancy dancy sailboat. Now, if you've been in the market for any time at all, you know for the last two years, the used sailboat market, as well as all used boat markets, have been absolutely insane. It has 100% been a seller's market for about two years now. Boats hit the market and they sell almost the same day that they are listed, as long, of course, as they are properly priced and a decent vessel. So what can you do throughout the summer and what kind of a market should we be looking to expect? We've just wrapped up the first week in June, and as to be expected, vessels are coming out of their winter storage, and several of them are being listed for sale. Now what happens every single year is this, right when all these boats hit the market, generally speaking, sellers will overprice them, especially so now with brokers and the hot market that we've had for two years. Brokers are overpricing their vessels ridiculous amounts. And as you look for used sailboats, you're going to see a lot of quote unquote recent price drops. A lot of times that's simply because they priced their vessel far too high to begin with. And over a period of time, the owners get tired of waiting and they ask their broker to lower the price. This is greed on the broker's part. Now they're trying, they're doing their best and they're trying to get the most money possible in their pocket. Unfortunately, for a seller, that means your boat, if it's not priced correctly, it's going to sit. Now, boats are selling at a higher price than normal right now, but a lot of brokers are overpricing them and there they will sit. Now, another problem is we have a lack of inventory and most of this is due to all of our travel restrictions. Under normal travel circumstances, we would have several boats crossing oceans from Europe to the mainland USA and so on across the Pacific, and then boom, after their Atlantic crossings or their Pacific crossings and their travels, the boats will then be listed for sale. So under normal circumstances, we always have an influx of vessels coming from Europe or from America to Europe and vice versa, and that gives us a decent used inventory. Also, with all of our issues over the last couple of years, people flock to buying used sailboats thinking that that might need to be their permanent home in the future based on all of our restrictions but as we can see that's not the case however it left us with almost no vessels what is available right now on the market is overpriced it's just a fact some of them will sell and that's usually just due to impatient buyers but some things that you need to be careful of is being an impatient buyer the best thing you can do right now on the used sailboat market is even if you've got cash in hand right now today, do not buy a vessel in the month of June or July. The vessel will almost always be overpriced. Now, there are some ways to avoid buying a vessel that is overpriced, and I've gone into this in several videos, but one of the main factors is you really need to narrow down your vessel choice far before you actually start shopping for a vessel. Now that doesn't mean go out and not look at vessels. Of course you should. You need to be out there looking at vessels and determining your own personal needs. But when you're doing that, you should not be looking at vessels as if you are ready to buy, even if you've got cash in your pocket. This will only lead to you buying the wrong vessel or paying far too much money for a vessel that in reality does not meet your needs. Patience is key. Just wait this out. As the summer progresses, we get further into hurricane season. Now, as we start to get some media hype here and tropical storms or hurricanes, things like that, people that have vessels, especially in my location, will start to list them for sale. And oftentimes at a huge discount as they just want to get out of the vessel because of the hurricane season. 
far better time of year to buy is towards the end of hurricane season when things really, really start to ramp up. So the best thing that we can do right now is just our research, narrowing down your vessel and determining all of your needs and what's really going to fit your needs. Now, on the used boat market, especially in today's market, cash is king. So if you have cash, you are already ahead of the game. Now, if you're going to be financing a vessel, you need to have all of that situated long before you go out actually buying a vessel. You need to get your vessel narrowed down, be approved by the bank, and have all of your requirements in order before you go out shopping for a boat. Because boats are going quickly. You need to make a choice and a choice fast when a vessel that you're looking for does pop up on the used sailboat market. That again circles back to determining your needs far in advance. If you've narrowed it down to only one make, one manufacturer, and one size, that in reality doesn't limit you. That opens up all of your possibilities because you know exactly what you're looking for. Then from there, you can branch out. It doesn't just have to be Yacht World. You can check Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, chat groups for that specific make, model, and manufacturer. And this in turn is always going to lead you to getting a better deal on a used sailboat. Hurricane season is scary for everyone that owns a vessel in the path of hurricanes, but with every scary situation comes an opportunity, and hurricane season is the best opportunity to be buying a used sailboat. Now this might sound horrible, but in reality, if you have patience, you need to sit back and wait until we get some hurricane scares or large tropical storms, as well as possibly a huge hurricane. Now vessels do get damaged during hurricanes, but not all of them. But what it absolutely does to everyone that owns a sailboat in the path of a hurricane is if one hits and their boat's not damaged, they are 100% ready to sell that boat right now, today. And that, my friends, is where we pop in and get the greatest deal imaginable. Patience is key. Wait this hurricane season out until later in the season when we get some hurricanes and some storm scares, then start watching the market and see what pops up. Some great vessels are going to pop up, especially right after a major hurricane. And there's going to be one somewhere this year. So to highlight some of the points, patience is absolutely key in a seller's market. Number two, make sure that you have your vessel narrowed down to the make, manufacturer, as well as model long before you get serious about buying a used sailboat. Number three, make sure you have your finances in order. If you're a cash buyer, fantastic. Use that to your advantage. If you're going to be financing, make sure that you have that all taken care of and you are pre-approved before you get serious about making boat offers. And number four, let's use this hurricane season to your advantage and get you a fantastic deal on a used sailboat. Just wait this out. Wait until we get some storms and then get real, real serious about buying your used sailboat. But make sure you have everything else in order prior to that. Now, I am located down here in the Caribbean and I do offer sailboat consulting to help you through this entire process. There is a lot involved when it comes to buying a used sailboat. And based on my location, I also have zero problems flying to the BVIs, the USVIs, or somewhere else in the Caribbean for you and taking a look at your vessel. Now, I do offer the consulting packages directly on my website at chasinglatitudes.com. You can get a one-on-one -on -one consult for as low as $100, and I can just kind of help you put together a game plan. Now, there's a couple of other packages. You can buy several more consults or the entire package, and we can get you on the water sooner than later in the most cost-effective manner possible. So if you're serious about buying a sailboat, head on over to my website, grab a consulting package, and let's start chatting. If you did like this video and you do find some of the tips useful, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. 
and I also have a large members area full of hundreds of people all looking to get on the water sooner than later. And you can join my members area directly through Patreon for only $10 a month. You get full access on over at our members area where I'm available to chit chat basically 24 seven to help you again, get on the water sooner than later. So consider consulting, join my patron and hopefully I will be talking to you sooner than later. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you on the next video.